Hi guys and happy, happy Friday. Thanks for being such a great friend. Love, Regina. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Wow, did you just hear my hip crack? That was kind of crazy. But oh my gosh, guys, today is Friday and today is a st the start of a weekend vlog. When was the last time we did a weekend vlog? It's been weeks. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the last time I did a weekend vlog. I know I was supposed to put out a weekend vlog, I think two or three weekends ago, but I, I honestly didn't even end up recording. I mean, I recorded, but I ended up not editing it. That's so crazy. Did you guys miss me? As you should. So yeah, welcome to a weekend vlog. So how have you guys been? I just feel like we haven't spoken in so long. Well, if anybody cares, what I've been up to today is, as you can see, my makeup and my hair is done. I actually recorded three videos for Vlogmas. It was supposed to be four, but I did three today. So in all, I think I recorded six videos this week this being the seventh video so i'm on a roll i'm really doing well so far i have seven videos already uploaded for vlogmas today is december 3rd i think i'm going to edit at least a video or two tonight because i'm actually going to wait for my birthday next weekend and i'm super excited about that i've been in like such a funk lately guys like no lie i think i cried every day this week including today life is just life is crazy right now it's so crazy it's so crazy <laughs> one day i'll explain everything to you guys but yeah life is just really crazy but today i don't know why i, I woke up and i was in like such a better mood i think i like had had just a better mindset i don't know but yesterday i think i really hit rock bottom like i stayed in the bed all day i didn't do anything all day and it was to the point like even when i wanted to do stuff i just mentally couldn't like i don't know if that's like a form of depression i don't know but i also canceled my therapist because i did not like her i don't know if i even told you guys that i was in therapy i did therapy for about three weeks but i did not like my therapist but yesterday i actually reapplied for another therapist we're getting it together slowly we're getting it together slowly i'm so excited but yeah today is like a really really good day and tomorrow i'm linking up with zay and kendra and we're going to hang out take pictures and eat and stuff so i'm really excited to see them some well-needed girls day and still she's supposed to come as well but she didn't reconfirm whether she was gonna come or not but yeah wow i just spoke for three minutes and 26 seconds i hope y'all cared about half of the things i just said <laughs> I think I'm getting thick, y'all. And I actually like this outfit. I wore this to record today, but I like it together. I like it. And I think my butt is getting bigger, which I think. All right, guys, I'm back. I think right now it's like 8 p.m. Hi. 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 Sing hi. Right now it is bath time. Hi. It's bath time for Miss Gianna Zoe. Oh, dang, I'm doing laundry right now, and I could have put my white socks in the white load. Yeah, you can see a monkey. You can also get undressed. Baby, 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 baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, you can do anything. <laughs> Wait, baby. Daddy, what? You are being so dry. Gee, <laughs> you think life is just a joke? Come turn, 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 turn. It's 
looks like a W. All right, why is your mouth bleeding? Jenna, what's going on? Why are you singing? Oh, why is your mouth bleeding? Oh gosh, girl. Say, so we're finished with bath time. Bath time. Finish. <laughs> Ma, let me call you back. I'm about to get Gianna ready for bed. Okay, so early? Yeah, she goes to sleep by 8 now. Oh, really? And it's working? Yep. Uh, what do you do to make it work? We read her stories, and then she just falls asleep. Oh. All right, call me when the little red rice has fallen asleep. <laughs> okay, look at her getting her blankets together. <laughs> She's so adorable. <laughs> you got your monkey and you got your blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ma, I'll call you back. Okay, then. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, dang. I'm going to call you back, Brittany. I'm about to put Gianna to sleep. Oh, yeah. She no. too much energy to go to sleep. That's why she got to go to sleep now. Stop touching right. buttons. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Bye. Bye. I'll call you back. You are just so cute. So we're gonna read a story. This, this, don't fall off the bed, baby. I'd actually, can you just, just not go there? So as of lately, like when I say lately, I mean the past, this past week, Gianna has been going to bed at eight o'clock. We made her bedtime at 8 p.m. Caleb was very adamant about it. Me, I just say let the kid play until she tired, but whatever. The 8 o'clock schedule has really been working, so she gets like her dinner by like 6, 6.30, she gets a bath, and then by like 7.38, she will read to her, and then she'll eventually fall asleep. Usually, Caleb is sitting right here on his rocking chair, and he'll read, and like I'll do like the cuddling part, but tonight, I gotta read and cuddle. Super bomb to the rescue. Tonight, we have three books. One is in Gianna's hand, so we have Honey Baby Sugar Child. We have Alice, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and we have On the Night That You Were Born. Usually, this past week, we read Gianna 101 Bible Stories. It was like a big story, a big book of Bible stories, so I ain't gonna lie. They, they was put me to sleep, too. I was like, Caleb, you come in here to put us both to sleep. <laughs> so hopefully, these three books shall suffice. If not, I'm waking Caleb up to go put Gianna to sleep because I ain't doing this tonight. It's Friday, and Mama don't want to do it tonight. So you want to, let's read Alice in Wonderland first, right? And honestly, I just feel like this camera is going to distract the hell out of Gianna. She drinks a potion and shrinks. What a curious feeling. Then eats a cake and grows. Goodbye, feet. After quite an adventure indeed, Alice awakes from her dream. Yay. Clap, 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 clap. You the star in my crown. You the joy in my smile. You the angel in my dreams. And no matter how big or tall you get, and no matter how far you roam, I'm gonna always be your sweet Madea. And you gonna always be my baby. In fact, I think I'll count to three so you can wiggle your toes for me. One, two, Three, wiggle, 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 I'm not going to bore you guys to death with that. So when she's going to fall asleep, I'm going to do some laundry. So not much to do tonight. So I'll hit y'all in the morning. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. 
It is Saturday, and my cat passed away. This is so, like, just, like, crazy. And I was explaining to you guys yesterday that, like, I'm already very stressed. So this was just kind of, like, icing on the cake. It's like, dang, I'm already stressed out, and then my damn cat dies, like... <laughs> Where do that at? Right now, my parents and I are about to link up and go bury him somewhere. I honestly don't want to be a part of it, but like that is just like how far gone I am. Like I'm not even that type of person that kind of bails, but I have just been it. Like life is just too much right now, and I just don't want to deal with anything. It's it's ugh, I just don't want to deal with anything, but. <sighs> They're all going through it, so it's not fair, in my opinion. Like, even though my emotions are making me, like, kind of, like, resist, I still don't feel like it's fair that I get to run away, you know, and everybody else has to deal with it. Um, I actually have my cat. Around this time, I got him. I got him for my 11th birthday. But it wasn't fair, though, because I really wanted a dog, and my parents was like, you need to get a hamster, a dog, or a cat. But bear in mind, you don't want to wake up 4 o'clock in the morning to go walk your dog. <laughs> but I'm 11 years old. Hell no, I'm thinking somebody's going to kidnap me. So I opted to get Prince. And I loved him so much. But then our relationship got a little rocky. Because, like, I don't know. Like, Prince was, <laughs> Prince was not what I thought he would be. But I remember picking him out when I was little. He was the only, and I should have known from then, but he was the only dark cat. He's not a black cat. He's a Bengal cat, so he's kind of like spotted like a leopard. <sighs> Sorry. I was brushing my teeth. I figured I'd just wait until I'm done. But yeah, he was the only spotted dark cat. All the other cats were white. And in my head, I was just like, I know a lot of people won't pick him because he's the darker cat. So I chose him. Took him home. I remember the first time. I, he was four months when we got him. And, um, whew, I'm about to cry. But he was four months when we got him. Yeah, so we pretty much had him uh, in my his entire life, literally. And he, I mean, they give you a cat in a box. They're not like when you get a dog. When you get a dog, it's like this whole big, like, thing. When you get a cat, they put the cat in a box. And they bring that thing home. So... I remember there was like little holes in the box and he like clawed me through the box. I went with my friend Diana to get him. And, um, dang, where are my contact lenses? And yeah, so yesterday is when I realized like, dang, he's really, really dying. I went home yesterday and I noticed like he was just, he's very small. Like Prince is a very small cat. Like no matter how much he aged. Prince was always really like a slender cat like he was not a fat tabby cat he was always slender but it's to the point now like his hair looks mad nasty like his hair is falling out he's just skin like you touch him like you can literally feel like his bones are like folding into your arm as you're picking him up under his stomach it was really gruesome like I didn't even want to touch him because I'm just like I don't know I get like real squeamish about things like that I don't know ever since I had a baby I'm just real squeamish about things that I never used to be squeamish about. And my dad actually called it yesterday. He was like, I don't think he's going to make it past tonight. I'm like, I'll give him another week. Or at least before the new year. And then literally last night, and I'm only saying this because I know, I don't know if a lot of you like experiences or have animals, but I've always wondered like, when my pet dies, what do you do? Like, what happens? Like, do you know what's coming? Do you just wake up one day and boom? The, the, the animal's dead, so that's why I'm giving you guys the story. But so yesterday, um, Prince, I guess, kind of lived left the rest of his life. He did wasn't eating, and if you know Prince, that guy likes to eat. S skinny as hell, just like me. I always say that my whole house is full of skinny people that like to eat and don't gain weight. But he was um didn't eat yesterday. He couldn't do anything. Like he usually jumps up on the toilet, and the toilet is maybe six inches maybe a foot away from the floor he tried to jump up on the toilet it was closed of course and he almost fell like he just couldn't do anything and you can see like it was really hurting him to even lay down so 
if you know how animals lay down, like they go on their side. But like he'll just stay like in a position like this because I don't know if he had like arthritis and it was like hurting him to even like turn. But he will be sitting like this on like all four paws before he could even sit down on his side to then get comfortable. It's like he had to make sure his knees were lubricated enough to follow suit with the rest of the with the rest of the position. And I'll tell you, he will stay in that position for like a good twenty minutes before he turns. But yeah, so he um. I don't know. My mom just said he just got up and he walked to his litter box and that was it. Like he just laid in his, they just left him in a litter box. She said like he was excreting fluids and stuff. I'm not sure from where exactly, but he was excreting fluids. And she wrote this to us around like one something in the morning. And then around 5.45 this morning, that's when I received the text that he passed away. It's just, I don't know, like, it's a cat, but it's still, like, I grew up with him, like, I had him since I was 11, I'm 27, we're well gonna be, and it's just, it's just sad, like, I already thought, like, yo, I don't even want to have Chase, because I don't want to go through this again, it's like, it's bad enough you get relationships with humans, and, you know, we already know, like, our lives are very temporary, we're gonna pass away one day, <laughs> But I don't know, like, when it comes to animals, I just feel like you can't really help. You can't, they can't speak. And then even yesterday, um, he, when he got, finally got on the toilet, I'm asking him, like, do you want to come down? I'll talk to my animals. But, of course, he can't respond to me. And cats are not like dogs. At least Prince wasn't. Like, Chase, I could kind of get Chase's vibe. But Prince, I don't know. Like, Prince never wanted to be bothered. He loves being on the toilet. But it's like, I can tell it's like he wanted to come down. So he's like meowing. So I'm just like... But like, every time he would meow, he would kind of turn his body back. Like, as if he wants to stay on the toilet. So I'm like, do you want me to help you? Like, do you want to come down? So I'm really standing in the bathroom for like five minutes trying to get an answer from him like as if he was gonna blink his eyes once to, to say yes please take me down so about after like the third or fourth meow i was like all right i'll just take him down because it looks like it was just hurting him so much to even turn his body to just help himself down and um i forgot i was saying this part but yeah i it's like we saw it coming oh that's what i'm saying like it's just like when it comes to animals it's just so they're just so helpless in my opinion like, they're not like humans. They can't communicate to you what, they, what is going on. And, um, yeah. So, this is what we're about to do. I canceled my plans for today because I'm just not in a mood, clearly. Like, and I think it's also kind of selfish to leave my parents to deal with that while I'm, like, going out. You know what I'm saying? So, even if I wasn't going to the burial, I just wouldn't have went out today at all because I'm sad. And, again, I just felt like I'm not going to completely disconnect by like going out and just acting like nothing happened while my parents have to deal with this you know <sighs> poor chase like chase was literally raised by a cat like chase be trying to jump up on stuff like homeboy you're a dog and ever since we got chase chase um only knew prince so but prince hated chase don't don't get it twisted prince <laughs> hated chase prince is was older prince was what Prince is 16, well, was 16 and about three, four months. And um, so he lived to his fullest. If you type in what a Bengal cat's life expectancy, I believe it's 12 to 16 years. And he kind of surpassed the 16 years. He made it four extra months. So it's like, you know. And ironically, yesterday I was looking at him and I'm like, Ma, I think we should take him to the vet. And she was like, okay, um whatever whatever and then that's when i looked up his life expectancy and it says 16 i said there's nothing the vet can do he's dying like but i didn't expect this to happen like i don't know it's like i expected it to happen but like i didn't like i it, it's just weird i gotta pack my tissue i'm gonna put on my yeezys i think this looks pretty cool right to go to a cat funeral. <sighs> and as of lately, like this is how stressed I am. As of lately, whenever I get like really overwhelmed, I feel like I have to throw up. 
Like, anything that just causes me any kind of discomfort, I'm just like, I gotta throw up. Don't ever throw up, but I just feel, like, literally sick to my stomach. I just feel like I can't do, but... That's enough ranting. I've been literally talking to y'all for 14 minutes. I might even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not feeling this glasses and no eyebrow combo, but we are here. So I did brush up my hair a little bit. I'm about to go meet up with Caleb and his family so we can go eat. The burial was really nice. Um, I swear, men, men are just crazy. So <laughs> my father picks up I wanted to drive my own car because I just did not want to be in the, in the car with a dead cat. Like, I'm just sorry. I just couldn't do it. Even though I did it. Prince is in a shoebox in a <laughs> reusable bag. Granted, okay, like, I get it. But my father is literally holding him like he's a pair of shoes. I'm like, you don't want to hold him like a pizza pie? Like, you know, keep his body upright? Like, why are you just holding him like, like you just went shopping? I'm like, yo, I can't. And then they pulled up and Prince was in the back seat. I said, no, I am not sitting next to the dead cat. It's, I can't. Please put him somewhere else. Put him in your lap. Put him in the trunk. I cannot sit next to the dead cat. I just I just don't feel comfortable. <laughs> like, but I'm happy I went to the um, burial. It's, it was really, really nice. We buried him in our local park. I hope that's legal. If not... That ain't not cat. <laughs> and we left. We just left him in the shoebox. And mom was like, I think we should take him out. I said, hell no. Like, you don't want to scar people. Like, that's kind of crazy just to randomly. I mean, we buried him in the park. But, like, it's, like, a very woodsy park. So, like, we had to, like, kind of detour off the path. And, like, go into the wooded area. And, like, we put leaves on top of the bag and stuff like that. But it was cool. I'm happy I went. I think it would have done me more harm had I not gone and knowing that my parents went, it's like, damn, I do, we didn't even go, you know what I'm saying? So I'm happy I kind of got over that, that phase. But I was having so much anxiety on my way there, but I'm good now. I'm really good now. But yeah, so just enough about that. This is like so sad, my gosh. It's like I've never watched somebody's vlog and it's like they went to a funeral or like talk about something that passed. It's like so weird. Sorry if this is kind of triggering to anybody. On my way to the restaurant. Good morning, y'all, and happy Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh. Wow, why did I find an eyelash in my car? I think it's the eyelash I actually didn't even like. Or did I like this one? Whatever. But hey, y'all. <laughs> You know, I just closed my foot in the door. But yeah, yeah, so happy Sunday. This Sunday is looking a little different because we are actually not going to swimming today. We are going to church. Say church. Say church. Where the brush at? I don't know. Gigi. No. Gigi. This green one? No, but you person. So my church is actually having in-person services this week, so. I do that. I haven't gone to church in so long, especially because of Gianna's swim class. Today is going to be an eventful day. Gianna has a little birthday party. I'm so excited. So yeah, I will see you guys after church. Oh wow, that's really near. Hey guys, we are back. It is now 2 o'clock p.m. We are now on our way to Cadence's birthday party. Ah, so excited. It's like a carnival theme. What is that called? Carnival? circus carnival theme so cute if you guys did not know you can buy gift boxes from target and it, not target from carters and it comes with tissue paper if that came in so clutch just now so this is his little gift i'm not gonna say what it is and no it's not from carters I'm not saying things wrong with carters but it's not a spoiler alert gianna got her a nice little xylophone do you see it in the mirror she's back there doing that and of course, dad got to get her a toy everywhere he goes. Everywhere. Gianna made out like a bandit. And these are not even our Christmas gifts, so... What's left to buy Gianna for Christmas?
first birthday. Um, <laughs> party not done, we just want to sing happy birthday before the photographer leaves. Okay. Um, we sing it a black version. <laughs> if you don't know it, catch on very quickly. I'm going to fight you. Um, Y'all ready? Yes. 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 One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. It's probably like oh it's 10 02 10 02 p.m we are back home from the party we actually stopped off at my house to eat some more food because we're fat like that mom had made escovitch fish and so good and chilled and stuff gianna's god dad came over he brought her such a cute little book and he put like a little message in it it was the cutest thing ever but i left it at my house so yeah, little Miss Gianna is sleeping. I have no idea where my camera is. So I'm recording from my phone. If the footage looks a little janky, you understand why. But now that kid's party was so much fun. Happy birthday again, Cadence. And thanks, Chanel, for inviting us. No, it was really so much fun. Like, I like that it had, like, the adults incorporated and it was a kid's party. You know, it was, like, a place for everybody. It was mad fun. Y'all seen that musical chairs footage? Yeah, I know I love me some musical chairs, but baby, I would have lost. It was a little too rough, okay? <laughs> but that'll end tonight's, this weekend's vlog, actually. Happy Vlogmas. Make sure you guys tune into tomorrow's video. I love you all, and I will see you next one.